welcome to my video on creating professional LaTeX documents with power of AI. Today I will show you how I used Cursor, an AI-powered code editor, paired with LaTeX workshop extension to streamline my LaTeX writing process. I will also share how I followed a GitHub project by Kaishenk Yang to add instruction file for Cursor. Whether you are working on research papers, thesis or reports, this workflow will save your time and effort. First I downloaded Cursor from the internet, installed it and allowed to do what it needs to do by entering my password, which is definitely not 1234. After logging in I have 2 weeks as a trial period, then it will cost $20 a month. Next head to the extensions marketplace in Cursor and search for LaTeX Workshop. Install this extension to enable LaTeX specific features like real-time compilation and PDF syncing. You will also need a tech distribution like MicTech for Windows or MacTech for MacOS to compile your documents locally. I already have MacTech installed, so I miss this step. Sorry guys. At this point, you've got a minimal working LaTeX setup, but let's follow Mr. Young's GitHub project to make it even better. I clone GitHub project and save it into my cloud in Yandex disk, just in case. Now here is where it got stressful for me, I am not a fan of the terminal. I opened it, navigated to my Yandex disk with CD Yandex disk, checked the contents and moved into the project folder with CD Cursor LaTeX template. Following the GitHub instructions I ran the install script, specifying the path to my systems bin. I hit a permission error, but using sudo and my not 1234 password saved the day. Huge success! Now I can run the init cursor LaTeX command from anywhere. Next I opened my LaTeX project directory. If you don't have one, you can create a new tech file. I ran the init cursor LaTeX command, which adds an instruction file for cursor. Then I uploaded my bib files for references and asked Cursor to add some references. I got specific and requested a reference by Professor Efim Razanwasser. Honestly, it took a few tries to get it right, but I managed to pull it off. Finally, I asked to add the reference to our joint article from European Control Conference. Success! That's all for now. I still have a lot to learn here, but I hope this video inspires you to dive into AI-powered LaTeX. Like and subscribe for more tech tips and thanks for watching.